Do you wanna learn some paddle tips from Fede Chingoto? He's the top 8 player in the world and even though he looks like a tiny player, he's the biggest one. On this point, we see how Beluati's mass to defense is not the best and his ball gets quite high. However, Fede didn't expect the rebound in that way and has to correct his position at the last moment. Despite Fede's positional error, he managed to direct the ball below the level of the net and that means one thing for Fede and Tejo, move forward and win the net. Fede takes 6 steps for 2 that his partner Juan takes to get to the same position of the court and when Fede sees where Juan Cruz Beluati's ball is going, the preparation of the racket is short and he makes a step forward to give power to the ball with his body balance. Beluati stays in the middle of the court so Fede takes advantage of it to win the point. In this play, Fede knows that Tello has not recovered the defensive position after the lob. This forced Fede to look for a shot that doesn't allow his opponents to make an easy shot, either with a good lob or with a chiquita. Once Fede does the chiquita, he runs after the same direction his ball is going and by the time Javi hits the ball, Fede has already crossed the white line. He needs 5 steps to get to the ball again and the key in his next shot is again the weight transfer using his body at the same time he does a 6 step. After Fede's first backhand volley, Beluati does a chiquita very well. Tello waits for the ball to bounce and his shot goes to the worst possible place, high and in the middle. Beluati does a good forehand volley, but if you notice, both Fede and Tello are focused about the middle of the court, both very close together and ready for the next shot to come. Fede returns the next ball and again always with the racket in front of his face. Then Tello recovers a very difficult ball thanks to changing the grip. And that's where Fede comes into action to win the point. With a forehand volley that doesn't rise from the height of the net, avoiding Beluati to counter-attack him in a clear way. Immediately Fede jumps forward and positions himself as the closest player to the net and win the point with a backhand volley to Garrido's body. Look at Fede who gets clearly under the ball after Garrido's high lob. Once Fede gets to that position, he doesn't have many options for this mass other than to do it in parallel. But if you notice, Fede doesn't change the grip but he managed to give spin to the ball while doing this mass thanks to the movement of his wrist. And one more curiosity is Fede jumps when doing this mass with bow legs much more than any other player. Why? Well, because in the end what Fede is looking for with this is to be able to impact the ball as high as possible. Fede is focusing this play on moving to the net after the chiquita, preparing the next shot with the racket in front of him to do a backhand volley and transfer the weight perfectly with the right leg. Beluati solves Chingoto's first ball, but on the next lob, Fede takes the opportunity to get under the ball, flexes his knees, points to the ball with his left arm, and again doesn't change his grip. Fede's mass hits Garrido's body, but I think it was going to be as mass por tres, so this is the proof that any hate can do it. Fede knows that Tejo's forehand volley is really good and it will give little rebound of the wall. So he knows that Carrido can only return the ball down and parallel or to the middle of the court. So in this way Fede gets very close to the net and with a drop shot wins the point.
Pelotti lets the ball bounce to gain control while Garrido indicates him that Tello is at the bottom of the court, so Beluati should direct his next ball there and move forward to the net. Fede knows that by Beluati's body position the ball is gonna go to Tello, so Fede goes ahead and wins the point. Very good play by Fede where even Garrido himself acknowledged on Instagram that Fede could have punished him more. And last but not least, a standard play for Fede where thanks to his vision, he is able to anticipate the play and win the point by doing magic. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more English paddle content. See ya!